Hi there, Chris, it's Matt. And in the forums you asked, is there currently available a method to save customer details from eBay and Amazon cells into Magento's database automatically? automatically? And then you go on to explain the reasoning behind this. Now, that's a nerd alert, and that was left in from the slide deck before, so ignore that one. Um, and the answer is yes, it is possible. And we can do this by making the following changes to your system. Number one, we need to create a new customer group called eBay. And that's because I'm assuming that you, Chris, want to separate eBay customers from other sources which are coming into your Magento system. And of course, while you're at it, you might want to add in Amazon or Play or Rakuten while you're adding that customer group. And it's dead easy to do, and I'll show you in a moment. And then crucially is that you need to change the settings for your M2E Pro account so that it creates a new customer record each time an order is received. Now, there is a big important message box at the bottom of this slide, and that's on purpose because if you're running a high transaction business, so if you have a very, very large number of orders each week and month, then you may not want to consider this option because you're going to end up with a very large num number of customer records being created in your Magento base database and that's just me thinking of you longer term so if you're doing like 5,000 transactions a month then you times that by 12 <clears throat> excuse me you times that by 12 and that's a very very large number when you could have just got away with one by maybe taking a different route so what I'm going to do I'm going to jump across to our system and let show you where you can set this up so our install looks like <clears throat> excuse me again our install looks slightly different to what yours are or what your system is going to look like but it's essentially the same so the first thing we need to do is to create that customer group and we can do that by going to customers and then customer groups and you'll see in our system we already have these extra groups you'll see that we've got Amazon eBay play and Rakuten and you won't have those in your account you'll probably just have wholesaler retailer not logged in in general now if you want to add a customer group you just press the button on the right hand side and ours is a big brain one because we've got a special theme for our our system but in your system you'll, you'll have a button on the right hand side and if you click onto that and this is where you can add a new group so you would type in eBay like so, and then press save customer group, and then add in any additional customer groups which you desire. Now, assuming that you've been and done that, is that we need to do step number two, which is that we need to change your eBay or Amazon account so that it maps to this customer group, and also to change the M2E Pro settings to create a new customer record each time. So if you go to sell on eBay, and then configuration, then the place where we're after is the account settings on the tabs on the top. So if you click onto account settings, and then you'll have one or more eBay accounts there. And what we need to do is edit this account. So if you just click on the row or choose edit from the right hand side, and we need to edit the settings for your desired eBay account. Now the section which we're after is in the order section on the left hand side. So I've clicked into there and we need to make sure and I'll just scroll down a touch, is that we need to make sure that it's set to import orders, which I'm guessing yours is set to yes. And then we've got two sections here. So product is listed by M2E Pro, then it's gonna create the order in the system, yes. And Magento store view source is that you might wanna leave that as the default, or if you've got multiple eBay IDs, then you might want to create separate store views, but that's a topic for another day. And then the other point here was that when it when you receive an order for an item which wasn't listed by M3 Pro, but you want that order to be collected, is that you'll have create order Magento set to yes. You'll assign it to a store view. In our case, our store view is called my eBay ID. And then it will create the order and it won't actually assign a tax class to the order. Now, when it comes to the customer settings, is that what you can see here is that what we've got our system set up to do is that when you receive a new order, it's gonna create a new customer, it's gonna associate it to the website called Marketplaces, 
and here crucially it's going to assign it to your customer group called eBay and I've just clicked that down so you can see the other customer groups which we saw a few moments ago and that's going to come in really handy so that you can separate your eBay customers from your Amazon customers from your play and also your website customers too you can also choose when an email is sent to a customer and in this case I would suggest invoice and the reason why I'm suggesting invoice is because of the next section is because I'm assuming that you're only going to create an order when you've been and received the payment immediately after the item has been sold because you've got immediate payment only set in your system and if you duplicate those settings in your system and then press save look out for the next order which comes in and M2E Pro would have created a new customer record for the order which it created for you so Chris I hope that answers your question. Cheerios!